you can say it. Yeah. I'll say it. Come on, man. I want you to say, say it. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What you got? You want me to say it? Yes. yes. Say it. Is, that, is anyone going to hit me if I say it? No. Come on, Nick. What you got? All right. Nigger. Oh. <laughs> for it and gave it to you. I don't know what you're What is the point, Myra? Bro, what is the point? Bro, we're finished, bro. We're finished. Bro, bro. What's the point? Wow. Getting fucking canceled. I heard, I heard What's somebody said the says point? Why don't you choose this when we come on the podcast? Magic word three times? What's what? the point, Myra? Listen, man. Oh, yeah, Myra. What's the point? Mary. I need to know. I am not in agreement with I mean, this. What is the point? I don't agree with this. What's the point? Yeah. Hey, man, I heard that somebody will say the magic word, bro. Yeah, the point is just here. Can you take it off? Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. Can you take it off, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's disrespecting you. All right. Oh, yeah. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Let everybody see. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Big J TV. Like, comment, sub. Like, comment, sub. Let's talk about it. Let's really talk about it. You saw the clip at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> this guy nick j fuentes right white supremacist admittedly uh was on the clown and uh bigger clown podcast fnf i go hard on this podcast and apparently a lot of y'all like it so i'm just gonna go in on them again for having a panel full of black women that were allowing and supporting this admitted white supremacist to say the n-word and the n-word i'm saying is nigger with the er okay not any variation of it nigga nigga or any any kind of variation you want to say this is a basic isn't i i think fuentes is actually half mexican or has some italian ancestry Whatever he wants to identify as, I just identify him as a white supremacist who believes that white people are superior. He's a neo-Nazi. Okay, he's a neo-Nazi. And for me, right, when I look at the Fresh and Fit podcast, specifically the leader and, you know, the, the head of it, Myron Gaines or whatever he wants to call himself, right, the Fed, I look at it as possibly controlled opposition i look at it as a podcast of dudes who were nerds and losers who found a finesse in the algorithm right by clout chasing different demographics within the red pill dating space and now they're going towards the political space they're going towards the conspiracy theory space they're going into different prisms in order to grow their brand let me tell you something man. as out of pocket nick fuentes is He's extremely popular. He's hella popular. He has a big following. And a lot of people rock with him. My thing is this. My thing is this. The black women who were there seated by him, uh, you know, allowing him to say this and not really giving any pushback. They're goofy. They're clowns. They're bed wenches. I want you to Google bed wench. And it just shows, you know, where our society is. Now, do I think that people like him should be platformed? Nick Fuentes, absolutely. I have no problem with him being platformed. I have no problem with people seeing what an idiot he is. I think it's healthy. I think it's needed, right? But I don't like when he's being interviewed by people who are going to softball him, who ain't going to charge, challenge his thoughts and ideas, who are not going to actually give him smoke, right? So why do I say this? Look at Just For Early Things. Just For Early Things does not have the mental capacity to, to even debate or, you know, push back against uh, Nick Fuentes because she believes what he believes. These are white supremacists, bro. These are racist white people. It is what it is. They see black people as tools to their agenda. I'm not going to cap. You know what I mean? By the way, every subscriber who's white, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for showing love to my channel. But, you know, there's some of y'all who are like this. And you know them people. <laughs> the cool white people know the whack, racist white people. It's just obvious, right? So for me, having those women there, right, who were actively approving 
right, and encouraging Nick's, uh, you know, disrespect, pathetic. You know what I mean? But it starts off at the head, and that's why I'm telling y'all, look at my videos. I have hell, hella videos talking about the toxic nature of Fresh and Fit Podcast and how it actually ruins men. Let me tell you something, man. There was a really famous uh, neo-Nazi. His name was George Lincoln Rockwell. He was huge in the 1950s, 60s, right? He really, really pushed uh, the Nazi agenda. You know what I mean? The white supremacist agenda. He actually wrote a lot of books. A lot of neo-Nazis look up to this guy. He's an anti-Semite piece of trash. Guess what happened to him? Assassinated, shot in the head. And his dad was on record saying, I'm just surprised they didn't kill him sooner. He got assassinated at 49 years old. He became deified, unfortunately, right? Nick Fuentes is just an offshoot of this type of dude. You know what I mean? He's just a loser. Now, do I agree with some talking points in terms of the left being too extreme in terms of, you know, BLM and other pro-black organizations being grifters? I agree with those talking points 100%. But when you're an outright racist piece of trash person, who I believe is actually closeted, I believe he's gay, it kills your entire ideology, right? And I ain't even surprised Fresh and Fit went this low, man. It is what it is. Shout out to the black queen on that podcast that decided to leave the nonsense. You know, this is the legacy of this pathetic group of people. Fresh and fit, disgusting. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all cool with Nick Fuentes and his rhetoric and whatever Fresh and Fit's trying to do or not. Get in the comments, let me know if you're still here. Big JTV, I'm out.